it is a new day, which means a new cup of coffee needs to be brewed for me and Sasha. And we've got quite an interesting setup here. Have you ever seen one of these before? If you have, have you ever seen it cooked in a propane tank sticking in a drawer? Because we haven't. We are brewing some fresh coffee straight on the burner. So how it works is you put water in the bottom section of this, you put coffee in a filter in the centre and then it steams through into the top pot and makes a fresh cup of coffee. You pour it in your cup. This is to keep the flame low but it seems to be taking ages to boil so because I've never used this before I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait. I'm getting a bit impatient for my coffee. Eden has been turfed out of the room for a few moments. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. <laughs> so I kind of screwed this up. I made the coffee, had the heat on way too low, now it's up high. It's just kind of splashed all over my t-shirt. I don't know if you can see the coffee stains. So I'm going to have to wash that off. It's done. Okay, moment of truth. I had to watch a YouTube video to make sure I was doing it right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Way too strong. <laughs> I think I put too many coffees in. Yeah, that's deadly. That's like poison. It is very strong, but it kind of tastes like... I don't know, I don't like it. Let's go and get a proper coffee. <laughs> I'm going to try out son and mum for breakfast. We are ordering breakfast. Oh my word. Look at the size of that foam. Sasha is a foam lover, so this is heaven. I would love to just make a cup of foam. Yeah. A full cup of foam, please. <laughs> Hold the coffee. Homemade roll. Just going to check to see if our favourite restaurant's open for later. I'm having a nice time so far. It's really peaceful in this town. Today we're going to go outside though and head to the outer areas of Mayhem Song. Oh, he's sneezing because of the burning. Eden, Sasha and I are at the Song 2 Pair Bamboo Bridge in Mayhem Song which would be beautiful, but this is the craziest amount of burnt ash in the air we've ever smelt. So we're not going to spend long here, we might come back. Yeah, we're having a change of plans today. We Eyes were going to come here and then drive another 40 kilometers to some more places, but it is so horrible out today. Yeah. This is the first time in my whole time in Thailand where I've said it's too much burning. So we're not going to go too far, just going to take a quick glance at the bridge and see what it should be like and then hopefully the weather will clear up another day for us to do our outdoor activities. According to the last place we were in, Mae Hong Song is probably the worst place to be in the first two weeks of March. So there's a bit of guidance for you. Early observations, watch your step. That could be a broken ankle. Mother, how are your Burmese reading skills? Tell me what this says and write it in the comments below. <laughs> so this is as far as we're going to go for now because the view has been obscured by burning and my eyes start to itch. So we're going to head back. It's such a shame man, this looks really nice. Okay, time to go to Salween, our favourite place to get food and see if they've got some nice Burmese treats in there. Feels good to be back in Salween. I got Western food this time but I'll get my Burmese food later. Burmese potato cakes, very good here, very good stuff. My mum and dad came here last time and they were like, oh the food! In my opinion, this restaurant serves the best khao soy in the whole of Thailand. It's only 50 baht and it's really creamy. I think khao soy is a bit like pizza. Everyone's got their own kind of preference to how they like it. And we like it creamy, thick. Just feels more substantial. Love this place. 
Tim is checking out the books. I take it here. I am pleased with my choice, and Sasha is jealous. You'll be jealous of mine. Yeah, when Sasha's cow soy comes, I will be jealous. But Sasha's cow soy has arrived now, so it looks amazing. Shallot, coriander, pickled vegetables, lime. It's the best place I've ever had a cow soy. Yeah. It's delicious. Wow, that was unbelievable food. Unbelievable food. Definitely my favourite place to eat in the whole of Mae Hong Song. Yes, I agree. My cow saw it was amazing. Best! <laughs> now we're just walking the streets heading to a coffee shop that we went to before but there was a power cut so we didn't get to try out their real coffees. And we have arrived at coffee morning, which looks rather trendy. Those sweaty, humid days. So I'm sitting right under the fan today, taking it easy. Got myself a hot drink though, probably not wise. I really like the style of this place, it looks like an old library. <laughs> Still choosing things. Oh, you have a yeah. Do you want it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? I got you a banana chocolate macaron. Oh, you know me well. And I got a. Rose. Yeah. Yes, I know you well. <laughs> I went for the signature coffee. <laughs> I can't remember the name now. What was it called, Sash? That's it. Ong La Mai, which is meant to be a stick. Hot coffee mixed between coffee and sweetened milk. It's good. I like it. It's like a strong coffee. Look what we found. It's like a riverside walk. It all looks rather abandoned, but I think that's part of the appeal. Vines growing up, lampposts, all these old benches rotting away. The bird has taken nest in that one. Probably not the safest bridge in the world. Not sure when the last person ever crossed this thing was. I decided not to walk across it. <laughs> it looks really ropey. But from here it looks pretty cool. Houses in the distance. That's the temple on the hill up there. Let's get over there for palm trees. Well, I enjoyed that. So firstly, how do you like our new intro? Let us know in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you like it. We probably chose the worst time of the year to visit Mae Hong Song due to the burning season. We didn't realise it would be that bad. It's the worst that we've ever seen it in our almost three years of living here. But if you are wanting to go to Mae Hong Song, avoid March, I would suggest. It's normally beautiful and green and stunning. We didn't get to see any of it. Stay tuned for Saturday's video where it will be the last instalment of our time in Mae Hong Song. Thanks for watching. See you next time.